What are three things to do to promote your YouTube channel on social media? Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uni Converter. A good YouTube video will find its audience without any extra promotion. But that doesn't mean that you can't do it. It sure helps growing your audience and finding new viewers. So here are three things I think you should consider doing. This first one is really, really simple. I shouldn't even mention it. Just share your videos, links and other social media platforms. Write a little description as well, where you either share something teasing or something personal about the video and then ask people to share it and watch it. On Facebook, you can do a simple post in your timeline. On Facebook, it's worth elaborating longer because in my experience, longer posts make people more interested on Facebook. So they might be quicker to stop scrolling and read what you have to say and might even click on your video. Now you can also share your videos link in your Facebook story. On X, formerly known as Twitter, sum up your video in a quirky way or write a funny comment on it. A one sentence teaser can also work, but make sure to leave some popular hashtags as well. When it comes to Instagram, for sharing a link you can use the stories. You can directly put the link in your story so people can immediately access your video from there. And you can write a few lines about the video, talk about it or just share a good moment from the video. In the next step, we'll talk some more about sharing clips of your video, so stay tuned for that. One of the best ways to promote your videos, longer videos on social media, is making shorts and clips from your video or posting your entire video but in the proper aspect ratio. An advantage for sharing clips over sharing links is that if autoplay is turned on for the user, which is most likely because it's default on these platforms. The video will start playing automatically. This can be more intriguing for the viewer and can increase the engagement rate on your post. Maybe even leading to more views on your main video and on your channel. However, be sure to make it clear that there is a full version of your video up on your YouTube channel, otherwise you can't convert and transfer the traffic to YouTube views. So as you know, Facebook, Instagram and X have different aspect ratios when it comes to videos. With the autocrop tool in the Uniconverter, you can automatically reframe videos for all of these platforms. Let me show you how to use it. First things first, you'll need the Uniconverter, so download it from videoconverter.wondershare.com. Then, after you open up the software, find the autocrop tool within the AI lab. Open it. First, import the file you'd like to work on. To use the auto reframe feature, make sure that the adjust frame toggle is turned on here. Otherwise, it will just crop the video without reframing. The next step is choosing an aspect ratio. Click on this drop down menu and choose from the list. You can choose from all major social media platforms or you may also choose a custom one. If you choose a platform where there are multiple aspect ratios available like Facebook or Instagram, choose the one that you need from this other drop down menu. Under the motion speed setting, you can select if the motion in the video is rather slower or faster. This helps the tool achieve a better result. On the left side, you will see your preview. This orange bracket is your new framing. Watch the preview to check the framing. If you need to fine tune it, click on this keyframe button here and then adjust the frame manually. When you're all set, click on export. That's it. Now you have a reframed video that you can post on other social media platforms in the proper aspect ratio. If you don't want to post the entire video, choose a shorter part from it to post. Either way, the video will have the right framing, keeping what's important in the center. This might be a more serious way of promoting, but it doesn't mean that you have to pay serious money to get some extra traffic. On Facebook and on Instagram, you can promote your content and get thousands of new impressions for a couple of bucks per day. If you have the money and you want to boost your posts, I'd say it's very much worth it. And the best thing is that you already have the post or the clip from our first and second way of promoting. Both Instagram and Facebook have a very user-friendly interface to set up a promotion or campaign where you can customize your audience, budget and the number of days you want the promotion to last for. Be sure to do some research as to how to set it up if you're not sure or ask a professional for help. 
but like I said, it's really, really easy. I'm sure you can do it. Let's say a quick overview on Facebook. If you have a post, you can click on boost here. Then within the ad settings, first you can set your goal that is set to automatic by default. Next, you have the button settings, what people will click on. Basically, you can choose an action that you want people to take regarding your post. Then let's go over to the audience settings. Here you can set up a location and the range for the target audience's age. Now for these two settings, especially when you're on a lower budget, it's best if you set a rather smaller range than a bigger one. Of course, it very much depends on what you're promoting. In this instance, it's an older post from a camera rental business. For a business like this, obviously the location is more of a city and the age is mostly younger people like students. So our age range would be 18 to 30, for example. If you're promoting a YouTube video that we're talking about here, you can still narrow down the location to a city and choose the age range based on your content. Again, depending on your content, you can also narrow your target audience by gender. Then you can also filter your audience by interest. And the really cool thing is that you can get information for your ad campaign from your YouTube channel's analytics, because you can check your audience there, you know, how old are they, male and female ratio, where they're from generally, and set those data to your ad campaign to get a better result. Now, the budget will obviously very much determine your results. The more you spend, the more impressions the ad will generate and the more clicks or views or subscribes you will get. In this case, Facebook will suggest you an optimal daily budget. But if that's too much for you, you can go lower as well. And of course, you can choose the amount of days you want the campaign to last. And finally, you can choose from placements. On the right side here, you'll see your estimated results. See, it's really not that scary at all. At the beginning, you can experiment with smaller amounts so you don't lose that much in case you set it up incorrectly, but you can change the budget or stop the promotion anytime. The idea behind setting up an ad campaign is roughly the same on all platforms. Okay, so this has been three ways of promoting your channel and YouTube videos on social media. Leave a like if you found it helpful and make sure to subscribe for more tips. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.